Happy Teacher Tech Tuesday, everybody. Um, I can't believe that I haven't shared this one with you yet. It's one of my favorite note-taking apps called Notability. Um, so I hope you enjoy this Teacher Tech Tuesday. All right, so Notability is a great app for taking notes and you can also record yourself taking notes and do so many cool things with it. So. Um, as you see here, I have a whole bunch of um, different colored chapters for my different sections. So adding sections and chapters are very easy to do. At the top left corner, you just hit the little plus button. And uh, you can create a, I did a divider for each um, class that I teach, as well as one for my doodle notes. I have a section for that. And then for each chapter, I did a different subject. So that way, those are the ones that are color coded. So um, if I go, for example, to Math 7, Chapter 7, and I look here, I have my Chapter 7 Notes packet, um, and I just imported this right from Google Drive. Uh, it's actually really simple to do if you use Google or any app for that matter, um, and you can send a copy through from um, your iPad directly to this app, Notability. So if I wanted to take notes and show them, oh, I'm gonna color code things, the tools at the top are really easy to use, really intuitive, so if you take a look, I'm just tapping the different highlighter and changing colors here easily. You can also make the highlighter um, very large or if you wanted to make it very small. So there's a very large variety of sizes that you can do. And if you notice that uh, I have my eraser set to whole and those different sizes for that as well. So that way, if I did something like a line here, or let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it, or a line here, instead of just erasing partial, you can set it to partial and it will erase um, partial pieces. But I actually like to set it to whole because then you just erase the whole thing at the same time. So again, all of these features can be played with. Um, there's tons of different colors, and if you don't like the colors that uh, are available, you can actually add your own color and play along with that if you want to pick a different color pen to use. Uh, there's also a texting tool, so if you wanted to go into your notes and type something, you can go ahead and do that and type the notes if you wanted it to look more neat than just writing it with a pencil. Um, having a stylus is also super useful if you're going to use the pencil tool. So I actually have just a regular stylus I got off Amazon so that I can write with it and it's a little bit easier to see. Um, if you notice there, I just circled the word and when you hold down a circle, like if you draw a circle and then just hold and let go, it will actually draw a perfect circle for you or in this case an oval or you can actually also do rectangles. Um, it will do triangles. It will do even like a pentagon. Okay, so it'll do a number of shapes if you just quickly wanted to draw like a a quick shape for a math class, like a hexagon, and then just hold it down for a brief moment and it will actually draw it for you. So it's a really nice feature. Um, it's great for things like this, when you have to graph a line. Um, so if I wanted to go ahead and graph a straight line, I could just go like this. And then if I hold it down, nice and straight. So it's great for math teachers. Um, and there are just a number of other features that I love about it. You can go ahead and record. I'll show you a quick brief thing on that. If I hit the record button, it's now recording. And then you can come back later. Record button. It's now recording. And you can actually play it back to, um, so if you wanted to record something once and post it to Google Classroom or play it to the remainder, remainder of your classes for the day if you have multiple classes of the same subject, um, that's a really great feature that I love as well. There are so many other things over here that you can um, do also. Like you can add pictures from your photo library. You can add stickers. There's so many different little stickers that you can add. Um, different thing, different options for those. Um, you can take a picture and add it in through the camera. You can add a GIF, GIF. I don't know. I've heard it both ways. So you can add funny things for your um, kids if you wanted to add into like, you know, a little fun picture in there. Um, and undo is really easy. This is just the the one button I'm using up here to undo the previous step done. 
And then you can, when you're done with it, if you write a bunch of stuff and you want to save this, like I do this with my answer keys, and I'll just show you one that I have completed. So this is a homework answer key. Um, I like to post these on Google Classroom for the students to check their work. So I just go ahead right here and you'll see all of these different options of where you'd like to save it or email it. But I just upload it right to my Google Drive and super easy. So yeah, notability. Hope you enjoyed today's Teacher Tech Tuesday.